lyrical lashing where insults turn into wordplay. After the strike, you strike again. We go inside the world of battle rap. The acapella sport, the artistry. Fox 5 exclusive with two of the biggest names in the game. One of the biggest and the best battle rappers in the entire culture. Battle rap with Vada Fly and Showtime SP. But until you get here tonight, gonna last forever. I get him. I'm talking Buck 50 is here to his teeth section and keep swiping down on page. I'm trying to refresh it. I keep swiping. Julius Irving, the cuff crazy. I tried to rob a nigga with an empty shotgun. I was pump faking. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification game, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be? Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. It is Friday. Salute to every single one of y'all for making it through the week. Regardless of what you had going on, in order to be fair, you're still here. So, you know, it's never that bad when you're still here. You know what I'm saying? You always got a chance to revitalize, regroup, whether it's that business plan, whether it's that move, whether it's that job, whether it's that play, whether it's that girl, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's that guy, whatever you got going on, you know what I'm saying? We still here and it's Friday. I got a couple things I want to speak about today. You know what I'm saying? SP will probably be by later because it's a battle of two. We want to recap and just some things to talk about, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let that get too far ahead of you. Shout out to Fox 5 Network Partners. We will be back really soon. We got a really, really special guest. I'm not gonna say now. We have a really, really special guest that I've been wanting to have on for a while, so you will see and hear about that really soon. Live from the Rice Gang 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 Studios, breaking, breaking news, breaking, breaking, breaking news with his ghetto point of view. We gotta talk, we gotta talk, we gotta talk. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Take a seat, cause we gotta speak. I couldn't even finish the last one, Blast Guns. I couldn't even finish the last one. See, the thing I tried to tell Swamp, where they value you and put you is where the veterans will cook you. You know what I'm saying? Like. He took a, he, he called Cal out today. He called Cal out, I just got the news, it's uh, six o'clock. I was uh, about to edit the, the, this whole joint and I, got, I just seen Swamp had tweeted Cal telling him to bring his scary outside. Calico then responds, nobody believes in you, your league don't push you, they don't want you in big matches. The nerve of you, <laughs> but you that's know, like disrespect. See, this is what I was saying. I love Swamp versus Trez, but I hated it on band. They deserve that promotion. They deserve that endorsement. They deserve to be in the algorithm. They deserve to be stories of that day. Chef Trez is killing it. He's having easily a top five year this year. He needs to be in the light. Swamp is having a great year. You know, his, he got a little slowed up when he went to try to go do the trenches and y'all threw the wrenches in the trenches and made him get back, but then he wasn't on summer man. It's too much, too much. Now, he calling out Cal. I'm sure somebody put that call in. Yo, 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 yo. Homecoming coming up. Let's see if we can get you and Cal. You know what I'm saying? Just call him out. And I'm saying, if he, if he respond good, we get that payment through, we can make it happen. And now, you calling him out. And he's saying nobody believes in you, your league don't push you, and they don't want you in no big matches. How I'm going to make that work? Tell me, it, it, I, do I need to say the quiet pout loud, or do I need to say the lard? Do I need to say the quiet pout? Do I need to say the quiet part loud, or do I need to say the loud part quiet? He said nobody believes in you. Your league don't push you, they don't want you. Tell me, tell me, what are we doing here? Um, while I would love to see Swamp versus Cal, obviously there's mad logistics that gotta go on. Cal is dumb nice, he had a crazy battle with Goods not too long ago. Swamp just had a crazy battle with uh, with Chef Trez, one of the top probably 10 battles of the year. I'd like to see him do it, but see, the thing is, man, this is what I tell these artists. When you got somebody like Cal, who could kind of move how they want, He's priced himself to where he's at, and he wants his premium whenever he steps on stage. He's going to bring three rounds. He's going to promote well. He's a legendary figure, and he could help sell a card. There are certain names when they are on these cards, you know tickets is going to sell. Hitman, easily. Uh, Tay Rock, boom. Calico, goods. 
You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of other names that when their name is on the card, regardless of who they battling, Rum Nitty is e Geechee Gotti is one. Jazz the Rapper is another one. It's a lot more. I could sit here and say for about 20 minutes, like names that K shines. You know what I'm saying? When they on the card, they're going to sell. Rex, Mook, Lux. These names are names that are premium. Cal's name is definitely involved with those names. You get him on a card versus a swamp, it's going to sell, regardless. Big stage, small stage, all stage. Because we know what he's going to bring. So, uh, you know, I have one that does endorse Swamp. I like what Swamp does. I do feel like he should be getting bigger names, bigger battles, because uh, some of the biggest names he got was in the tournament. That's just because he ran into them. You know what I'm saying? Like, shouldn't be that way. He should be getting the big premium names all the time. He's made it this far. There's niggas that was in the class with him that we don't even see or hear from no more. So if he's made it this far, remained around this far, you got to put him in front of them names, you know what I'm saying? And you got to put that... <laughs> You know, you know what it you know what it cost to make a star. You did it with easy. You know what it cost. You know the names he had to get. He had to get goods. He had to get verb. He had to. But you believed in him at the time. Put that belief. You got to believe in Swamp. You got to put that company behind him. But let's get back to this. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna shoot another episode of Overtime with that person really soon. So it's a couple battles. You know what I'm saying that I'm gonna talk about. And are we gonna get this year? My first one is Easy the Black Captain versus Big K. Um, are we gonna get that battle this year? Is one of the leagues gonna make it happen? I think that it should happen because obviously you got Battle of the Year, you got Champion of the Year, you got all of this shit in play, and you got Easy the Black Captain, you got Big K. Big K has been on the run that he's had. He just battled Sharon Lee recently. It was pretty debatable, you know what I'm saying? Some people got Sharon winning, there's people that got Big K winning. I don't really feel like that's a needle mover up or down for either or. Easy the Black Captain just had to battle with Geechee Gotti on Chrome 23. The large consensus has Geechee Gotti winning that battle, obviously the viral third round. So are these two going to see each other this year? You know what I'm saying? I think Big K does, I like to say need, but if he wants to clearly like overtake what's going on, I think he should have another battle this year. I don't know versus who, but um, I would like, for, for, there's not even that much explaining need to be done. I just want to see Big K again this year. And I want to see Easy the Black Captain again this year too. I saw Geechee Gotti uh, a couple weeks ago when we was in New York. He said that he wanted the Hitman battle um, this year too. He said he wanted to do the Hitman joint this year. Uh, you know, URL is homecoming coming up. I don't know, they niggas ain't made no announcement shit, not even a announcement. I heard some things. I heard a couple battles, but I mean, I'm not going to splat it out of that. But, uh, you know, we'll see what the announcements are with that. But, uh, yeah, I would definitely, um, with Easy, you know what I'm saying, I would like to see Easy versus a Big K. Uh, not with all of these, uh, these contingencies involved, like it got to be over here on my league, the water got to be 38 degrees, you can't do this, all this Hollywood shit. Not, not with all of that. I just want to see a battle. I don't want to see all of this. You got to sign a fucking paperwork, NDA contract. I ain't trying to see all that shit. I'm in battle rap to see niggas rap. You know what I'm saying? I don't really give a fuck about all that extra shit. It's just my, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just my personal opinion. Who am I? You know what I'm saying? I, I, it is what it is. Um, shout out to Easy the Black Captain. Shout out to uh, Big K. I like to see it. Man, have y'all seen what's going on with DJ M Envy? DJ Envy. I don't know what the fuck you niggas got going on, but it is all over the news. Shout out to Tony the Closer, Real Estate Rico. If you have not been looking into this, bro, and, and the, here's why. And I spoke to uh, Tony the Closer last night, you know what I'm saying? Just via Instagram real quick because I had made a post. And I'll read you guys my post. And I really don't get super involved with, like, the hip-hop news and shit like that because, I mean, I love hip-hop. I fuck with hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? And this is more like a podcast type episode, you know what I'm saying? I just want to talk to you guys about a bunch of shit. So just... Stick along. It's not a quick blog, you know what I'm saying? I got the verb and rum shit. I'm going to talk about that in a second, but ride, ride with a nigga, you know what I'm saying? I, I, you, what are you doing? You're here anyway. You press play, right? So, um, with the, I, I made a tweet yesterday, and I said, uh, I said, I said what I said, I said, I said what I said, I said. I said, uh, the shit that makes me mad about DJ Envy and Scammer Mans, that makes me mad, and damn near all the victims are minorities from New Jersey that wouldn't have joined the programs if Envy wasn't promoting it by saying, join us, make money with us. Imagine losing your life savings to someone who's acting like they didn't know anything. And I put that tweet out yesterday because as a homeowner and as a black homeowner in America, this is actually, uh, this is my third house actually, but when I start, tried to first get a home 
it's not that easy. Like it's not anybody who owns a home knows how hard it is to get it, especially as a as a minority in America. You know, they don't make shit like a layup, you know what I mean? Like you gotta go through so much shit, paperwork, your money gotta be right, your credit gotta be right, you gotta be able to prove where your money came from, and like if you sold a car to your cousin and he gave you three to five grand, you gotta prove that he gave you that money, you gotta go to the DMV, it's hell, you know what I'm saying? The interest rates is out of control now, and I say that to say this, there was a lot of people that got scammed, that literally joined these fucking real estate programs where they sell you all of this shit and tell you, oh, you know, you give us 10,000, 50,000. People was losing 100,000, 200,000. I seen a guy lost 500,000. They giving the money to these guys and they just fucking around with the money. Now, I'm not saying Envy was the fucking lead guy, but he was definitely the confidence man. Every good scheme needs a confidence man. A confidence man is the person that's going to talk you in, that's going to give you that sauce, give you that game. I got the person that can hook you up. If you just do this, this, and this. And what Envy don't realize is that he used that big ass platform at iHeartRadio to promote this shit. So the people that suing him and his man could sue the radio too. They could sue them because if it wasn't for me hearing it, that shit. If, 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 if my lawyer is on that, I heard it on the radio, so that's why I believed in it. And I'm suing them too, you know what I'm saying? So that's what they really don't understand. I'm hearing 17 million was taken from like a lot. And, they, and the funny thing is, they ain't go out there and get a bunch of white people. They ain't go out there and go get other races. They took that money from their own people, and that's the shit that's whack. And for that, you know what I'm saying, Envy and Caesar could got to be donkey of the day, donkey of the year. And they don't even talk about this shit on The Breakfast Club. On The Rumor Report, I was listening to The Rumor Report this morning. I'm like, let me see. I know they ain't going to talk about it. Nigga, Envy did his uh, show from home on a Zoom call. It's a And then the feds ran in there. The feds ran into iHeart, into Power, and took a bunch of uh, electronic equipment. They taking niggas' computers and all of that. Envy going to jail. One of them niggas is going to jail. I'm sorry. And there's a thing, it's guilt by association. And the thing is, the, the biggest deal that with this shit is uh, the fact that Envy and them been getting complaints. It ain't like they just got their first complaint and he was like, oh God, we gotta, we gotta make shit right. We gotta get right for the people. No, people been complaining about this shit for over a year. Their money's been gone. Their money's getting taken. Their money ain't right. And he continued to promote it. He continued to run with it. So that's why I don't say, while I'm saying, He's not the fucking reason it happened, but he is the voice behind the microphone. The Caesar, big pun, the fat nigga is the microphone, and he's the mouthpiece. If it wasn't for you saying and putting that shit into the world, nobody would have believed that fat ass nigga. So now you gotta go down with him, and then people want their money. They want their money, and Tyrese gonna probably go get you. But uh, shout out to that. But yeah, I, when I see cases like that, I do speak on it because I feel like with platforms like ours, you know, it, I, I give my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell is going on here? Like, why, why is niggas losing their money? You know what I'm saying? Niggas working hard. You know how hard it is people, for people to get money and have savings and they have this guy take their money around? I'm surprised that they was able to float around like that. Like, just still able to run around, have conferences, be places, without nobody putting a bag on them and gripping that boom, 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 I'm surprised. Y'all niggas had a good run. I'm surprised you got away with that shit that long. Uh, but the feds is involved now, so we'll see how that goes. Into battle rap. Boom. Shout out to Averb. Everything that Averb has going on, personally and professionally, he's in spaces 38 hours a day. Uh, he's able to still promote better than everyone. And if he has a battle, he's going to be there with three rounds. No slips, no chokes, no stumbles, no fumbles. That's just what he does. Um, he went on the craziest promotional campaign I've probably ever seen during the summertime with A-Ward. It got to the point, his promotional campaign got to the point where I got tired of seeing it. I was like, yo, how does he do this shit? I'm tired of seeing him see himself like this. Like, what is going on? But then when the actual battle came, the nigga, yo, son, your son, yo, kind of can't even take the son. Like, he delivers. So you can't be mad at a nigga like Verb who delivers. He talks a bunch of shit. You're not supposed to like him. I, 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 I fuck with Verb, you know what I'm saying? I, I do. I want to get him on the show, and I probably will get him on the show. Uh, before the year is out, I'm thinking we're going to get Verb on um, on television, too, because he needs it. And I heard he just did Expert Opinion again. If he did Expert Opinion again, that shit's about to be crazy, too. Verb is must-see TV. All I got to do is just bring him, put him on, ask him one question, and I can sit back for the rest of the night, because he's going to talk, he gonna, he gonna talk his shit anyway. So, um, 
salute to Verb. He always gives shout outs, you know what I'm saying? I never do spaces, I've never made a space before. But whenever I see his shit live, I might hop in there for like five, 10 minutes, hear what he's talking about, and then dip on up out of there. He always shows love, so shout out to that. Um, He's going in on Rum Nitty. Not really going in on Rum Nitty, but he's trying to get Rum Nitty to, um, you know, make some moves and take battles to other places. He says, hey man, the way rum was done is still bothering me. So, so tell y'all what, I'm so noble, Verb will battle the alien anywhere. They have the money except where P work or anything secretly funded. Let, let get this guy some fights that will matter. So he's basically saying, you know, he's pissed off by the way rum was done. If you didn't see my blog yesterday, you can watch where I was talking about uh, the round times between Rum Nitty and Foots and then the round times between Hustle and Units. I'm hearing, I've been hearing whispers. I've been hearing whispers. Trust me, I know people that know people. I don't know why you act so evil. That are saying that they're trying to say it's a clerical error or somebody made a mistake and yada yada yada. I hear, I hear you. I hear you. But two people with two different battles, two different round times, nah, that shit, they lying, my nigga. I'm, I'm not believing nothing else. I ain't believing nothing else. These niggas is guilty. Anyway, uh, so somebody responds to Verb versus Rum would be the biggest battle of the year. Pause. And then, uh, uh, you know, people try to go in on Verb. Verb also said, URL ain't gave me sh They made me work hard for less pay. How many B-Day shout outs y'all gave me? You ain't gave me sh bees. How I know this you? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's basically saying like, yo, he ain't gave, y'all ain't gave me nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know, they do birthday shout outs for the people that they prefer. You know what I'm saying? Not Verb and shit like that. So he probably never got one. Um, and then... He also went on to say, uh, Briz Rothstein responded, because Verb was like, Verb was basically saying that Rum don't get the battles he deserve, he don't get the looks that he deserve, they got him battling a bunch of new niggas, et cetera, et cetera. I heard who Rum got next, if it's true, I mean, it doesn't change much of the, of the trajectory or the angle of what people are saying about who he's battling, I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, Briz responded, bro, Rum literally battled everybody that's a somebody, and then he says it's all on an app. F where you can't see his greatness. He got to get a real fight outside the prison. What Verb is basically saying, a lot of um, the big battles from Rum Nitty are all stuck on the app. You know what I'm saying? And there are a lot of people that have the app, but then there's a lot of people that don't have the app. I know people who say that the app just does not provide enough good content for them to be justified worth having it. I have the app because obviously, you know, I recap battles and I talk about battle rap too. And there are obviously some battles that they drop every now and then that I like. Uh, they dropped three battles this week, and I seen uh, all three of them. I did like the Swamp versus Trez. I hated the, the C3 versus Tink. That shit was a bag of ass chips. And I was in the middle of Your Honor versus Clean, and I think Your Honor's performance was, was kind of crazy. It's, it, I, I, I hit SP and see if you want to recap it. If he does, we can go through that. But I think he did really good. But a lot of y'all ain't seeing it because the battle is on the app. Um, so, so Verb is saying Rum Nitty stuck on the app. And then um, Rum Nitty, oh, I mean Verb also says, Rum, it's time to get the matches that make sense for you. You too good of a rapper to be wasting shit. Time to step under the lights, let the bidding begin. And then he says, uh, he goes on to say the alien can come get some of this money too. I'ma smoke him too. And then Verb, and then uh, Rum Nitty says, what up? Let's make something happen. And then uh, Verb says, I'm on it. And they keep going and going and going. So they've been in uh, potential talks for a battle. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that battle would have to happen on URL. Because I don't see URL like being cool with Rum Nitty just like going over to RBE. King of the Dot, one thing. Hey, 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 look, 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 nigga. You go over there, you do that King of the Dot battle, you come back. That RBE shit, nah, they flipping tables about that. So I don't know if Rum would make a move like that, it would be bold, but uh, he was already flirting with the idea of battling Loaded Lux in the Blue Room, you know what I'm saying? And we're not gonna act like the Blue Room. If I think about some of the biggest moves and some of the biggest things and some of the biggest atmospheres of battle rap in 2023, Blue Room probably has it. There's no other iconic place right now. Webster Hall's not around. They're not battling in Black Bear. They don't really battle in Irvin Platt. They don't really battle in New York at all no more. Um, and I know why. I, you know, the battles don't happen in New York, like big battles, big cards, because number one, the venues cost so much. You know what I'm saying? A venue you could potentially get for 5,000 in Houston or in Atlanta, you're gonna pay 20,000 for in New York, 15,000 for in New York. 
a lot of these companies and these buildings that have these venues, they know what's coming through. They know it. They're like, yo, it's battle rap. They know smack. These niggas be fans of this shit. They know they got money. They're going to up the price. You up the price of the venue. You got to up the price of the tickets. You got to up the price of the liquor. And a lot of the times, it just don't be worth it. And the hassle. Niggas can't. Some of the venues, they can't smoke in New York and all this other shit. So they take the show on the road. Um, but the most iconic venue of 2023 has been the Blue Room. And it's not even close. You know what I'm saying? Like, they've literally had... They had the biggest card of the year so far. I, I've been hearing whispers about what's going on on some of these cards, and I'm gonna just be honest, I don't see a card that's coming, that's gonna be better than Max Out. Like, it's almost, it's October, it's about to be November. Nobody's putting together no shit that's gonna be better than that. I heard that some of the traffic card, it won't be better than Max Out. I mean, shout out to them and shout out to what's going on, but it's not gonna be better, is what I'm saying. Um, and then, you know, John John has his card in Oakland. It's a pretty decent card, he's doing his thing. Uh, he got Mr. Fab, like, the thing about some of these battles, like a Jay Mills and Mr. Fab, or these bad, they're not gonna really like. They're not gonna. They're gonna be wins for you because we expect you to win. You know what I'm saying? Like if John John was to battle a Reed, we would expect him to win again. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I need for me personally, I need the Don to be battling against niggas who I feel like he can't beat or feel like it's on the same level as him. Jay Mills is not on the same level as him. Mr. Fab, no matter what he says, it's not on the same level as John John. He's gonna beat them. So. Um, that when you have that as like the main event on the card, the rest of the card could be fire, and it could be fire, but you, they're not beating him, you know what I'm saying? We know that they're not beating him, so shout out to him. Um, but yeah, that's been the most iconic space in battle rap for 2023, the vibe, the energy, the look, that shit was packed, round, lined around the corner, you know what I'm saying? Everything was good about that joint. It was probably rated like a 9 or a 10 out of 10. Every battle on the card was good. Every one from top to bottom. I mean, yeah, I was on the pay-per-view stream and it was great. You know what I mean? We had a fucking great time. And when they do it again, nigga, my prime. <laughs> I got a new phone today. I got the, uh, hold on, hold on. This ain't the new phone. I got a new phone today. It's, you know, I the iPhone. I got the new shit, uh, 15. Uh, it's in my closet. You know what I'm saying? I just uh, put the box there because, you know, kids be all over the fucking place. So later on tonight, you know, because the phone take a long ass time to transfer everything over. It take like hours. So what I do is I start the process like when I go to sleep, so it'll be done by the morning. But um, shout out to that. Um, so yeah, the Blue Room's been the most iconic room in battle rap for the year. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas come to the Blue Room, they come to rap. They don't come down there to be bullshitting, forgetting they raps and all this other shit. They come down there to rap, and motherfuckers know that too. So Verb is saying the alien can get some with some money with me too. I'll smoke him. Uh, and Rum responded. The reason why Rum responded because he's seen Aver pull this shit off this year. He has watched him do this over and over and over and over again during the same calendar year. If nothing else, if nothing else, you get you get around Verb, you gonna make some money. I promise you that. I was the pay per view with Verb. I made more money than I made with any other league ever. Any other league ever, ever. <sighs> and SP did too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got head paid like battlers. That's why I don't go. That's why I don't be going nowhere like that. Like when these leagues be all these leagues be calling, I be like, hell no! I wait for the next max out. I will wait for the next max out because we made it cool for niggas to get paid. They never used to really pay niggas like that to come in there, but being able to experience that vibe and it don't always be about the money. Money is good, but it's not all about the money. But I just. At a point in my career, you know what I'm saying, I can't leave for days on end, especially when I got kids and shit and I make no bread. So, when, you know, some leagues will call and they ain't got the money, it's cool. I watch you from home, you know what I'm saying? I got no problem watching you from the crib. Now, back to Verb. Verb is a promoter. He's going to be able to break down all the intricacies. Him and Chess was going back and forth the other day, but I really don't like the Chess battle because I just don't like the Chess battle. I like Verb, I like what Chess can do, but when you do this thing where everybody, every single rebuttal to what Verb was saying, was if chess, if chess, if chess is 100%, if he's this, if he's that. I can't roll with the if, you know what I'm saying? Like in a big battle like that, it can't be if A Ward shows up with three rounds versus Verb, it could be a classic. If this, if that, we don't want that. We don't want that. You can save that if shit for Civil War or a band or one of them small cars. We're not doing the if on the big stage. On the big stage, the big move, the big venue, we ain't doing the if. If a nigga make it or if he don't make it, no, 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 we're not doing that. The niggas ain't doing that. Um, lastly, I saw uh, Mickey Fax. Mickey Fax said, I promise, after me, Lux would take Rum Nitty. I'm a fan of Rum. He know that. ARP called us. We can do this before 2024. And then if Mickey says, I'll literally take Rum Nitty or RBE. Now, now Mickey, 
I respect what you do. I respect the, the you know what I'm saying, the perspective and shit like that. But it can't be. <laughs> I don't think niggas is gonna go with that one. Like if if Rum battle me, Lux will battle him next. This is the reason why niggas won't go with that. Cause Lux is so mercurial. Look up the word. Let's let's make sure. Cause y'all niggas be saying I be saying words that don't be. You know what I'm saying? I be saying like mercurial. Lux is such a mercurial person. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what that means. <clears throat> To sudden be unpredictable, change mood or mind. You know what I'm saying? That's Lux. He's a mercurial person. He will say that he's going to battle Rum after you battle him on RVE. And then if Rum kills him, he's going to make up an excuse why he can't do it. If Rum loses, which, I mean, it's Rum Nitty. Like, he don't really lose battles like that. If he loses, he's going to say, oh, he's been losing. So this is why it can't work like that. I, I, I like the fact that Mickey's out there trying to, like, Vouch or try to get the battle to happen, but there ain't no way in hell. Ain't no way in hell. Ain't no way. That nigga Lux would literally have to sign a contract the same fucking day. Y'all had to be sitting next to each other. He had to sign for you and then sign for me the same day because I can't believe Lux in any other form. I'm sorry, I cannot. This nigga been around for 20 years and got like 12 battles. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Lux, I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? Style on this nigga. SP, yo, get your man. Yeah, I, I rock with what you do, but you don't got enough battles. For, uh, for me to believe that a nigga would take him on the win. It's just not going to happen like that. We over here, we over here at Max Out Incorporated. I'm part of, I'm with Chrome too, and I'm with Max Out too. We over here, we ain't going for that shit. Nah, 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 I can't, I can't move like that. You got to, you got to bag this work up first before we can get into that bag. We, we, we ain't doing it. Uh, I'm sorry. It cannot happen. Um, but shout out to Mickey. I hope to see him battle again. It is what it is. But with the verb shit, uh, Verb has leveraged all his power over to RBE. He, still, he weaponizes it at times, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna talk his shit, he's gonna be like, oh, you know, this person. But I listen to Verb sometimes, but then sometimes he goes into like these crazy pockets of like talking in his spaces where he'll be like, if a nigga shot at me in his car, when I drive back and shoot at them in their car, I'm gonna burn that motherfucker. I'd be like, all right, we're going too far. But it's still my guy. Um, Overall, uh, pretty dope week in battle rap. No. No big events really this weekend or next. Uh, I know I've been hearing whispers that Chrome is supposed to be coming back with another joint before the year ends out. And I'm pretty sure that they will want to get easy another look. You know what I'm saying? Like regardless of what, with you all the room and all that shit, I ain't got nothing to do with all that. But as far as the battle is concerned, if he wants to be like at the top of the list for the end of the year, he's gonna have to have another battle. It's gonna have to be a good one. He's gonna have to win. Because of what he's done so far, and this is not no hate, you know what I'm saying? I was just on a live with his man's Johnny Mac and Muslim Poppy the other day when we was going over there. Philadelphia top 20 list and shit like that. So I ain't got no issue, you know what I'm saying? But me as someone who just watches the game, does news and media and shit, if the chips were all laid down right now, I don't think Diz Hitman Reed is enough. And Geechee, the loss to Geechee. It's a good, he didn't win that battle. I don't know. What are we even doing here? So I don't think it's enough to overthrow everyone. I think he's claw he's, he's he's around. He's he could end up somewhere there. But Rum Nitty battles every week. Geechee's battling every week, and he's got some big joints coming up. So there could be some competition. Is all I'm saying. And if Rum is going, if Geechee, if Easy's going to try to pull this out, he's going to have to battle again this year. I'm just saying. It is what it is. But uh, yeah. Other than that, salute to every single one of y'all. Salute to everyone who got to the end of this joint. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to make a longer video today. Pause. Uh, and I want to talk about that DJ Envy shit. Envy, I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on, but that shit right there is crunchy and it needs to end. Because one thing that I hate more, one thing that I hate is hardworking people getting their money taken from them and taken advantage of. Envy, you pulled up in Bentleys. You pulled up in Rolls Royces. You pulled up in Ferrari. See, the problem, I'm going to tell you what the problem is, man, before I get out of here. That radio station job, DJing and shit like that, they may get a couple hundred thousand a year, maybe 350, 400 thousand, 500 on the high end. They not paying no millions up there though. I, they are, my aunt used to work for a radio station, Hot 97. The highest paid DJs ain't making millions on the radio. But this nigga, his lifestyle, he wanna be like Rick Ross. He wanna be like 50 Cent. He wanna be like Jay-Z. He wanna be them niggas. He don't want to drive a nice car. This nigga want to drive a $500,000 car, $700,000 car. So the lifestyle costs more than what you bringing in. Then you got your wife, you know what I'm saying? She want all type of nice shit, Birkin bag, her mess, mansions and shit. 
And he do the little car shows and all and not little, they big. He do the car shows and all of that. He get his money that way. Woo de woo. But it ain't enough to cover what this nigga been having going on. And now the feds is looking, they watching the playbook. You think the feds ain't sitting there watching? Tony the Clay watching every one of them videos, man. Tony put that shit together so well, the nigga sitting there watching the motherfucking video, watching every video like this. With a pen and a pad, writing down everything. He basically threw him out of you, man, but we gonna see where that shit goes, man. Other than that, salute to every single one of y'all, man. Don't get a gun involved. You know what the fuck going on? Gang, 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 don't bang. Shout out my nigga S.